the satisfying end of TikTok's stupidest criminal. I see why it thought he was too famous to be arrested. Put both That's your hands dumb. out the window. I don't know who I am. Yet his 1.4 million followers failed to help anything, as TikTok's dumbest criminal has been in jail for almost a full year. Okay. To introduce the type of guy he is, I see why it was employed before TikTok. Had a job, I worked at McDonald's. Yet a family member exposed him, stating, he worked there for a week and showed up one day and they were like, why are you here? He found out the previous day he showed up to work so high on Xanax that he got fired and he didn't remember any of it. <laughs> Thankfully for Wyatt, however, a work ethic wasn't needed for his genre of TikTok content, simply being a feminine man who was attracted to women. If I had a girlfriend, hair, nails, new bag. Oh, I've only just seen his nails. Mate, they're weapons, they are, bro. What are they? They're weapons, mate. That'd be illegal in the UK. Nails, new bag. Because I want to take care of my girl. I'll be so proud to have a girlfriend and I want to be obsessed with her. That was his very first TikTok and it gained over 8 million views, fueled by people wondering if he was actually telling the truth. I see why it fed into this to achieve a repeat audience with videos as simple as people who don't understand that I can be femme and still like girls, giving him hundreds of thousands of likes. Why it funneled this attention into bingo gambling sponsorships. I am the king of bingo i am the king of gambling and then scolded the audience because they weren't as rich as him i make eight hundred thousand dollars a month year you're not even near my tax bracket google me <laughs> my network maybe white had an ego as he'd previously been in jail and i've been to jail like multiple times which the audience quickly realized he most definitely deserved because a user named kd nail artistry uploaded a tiktok explaining she was the one who did wyatt's nails and he agreed to pay me from the start at a price of $200 for three different sessions. Well, okay. rather than paying, he wrote me a check from a closed bank account. He also knew I was in nail school at the time, so not only was Wyatt a total scumbag, but it also seemed what? he wasn't as rich as he professed. Despite this, Wyatt only kept on bragging. Gee, I sure do look like the disappointment of the family, but isn't it funny how I make the most money? Sit down. Believing that you'll get much further in life by cutting off all the toxic people and focusing on becoming the main character. Wyatt seemingly went against his own advice and began dating a girl named Moore with whom he started to spend irresponsible amounts of money. Okay, so baby got her Vans. Hey, you know, I had to give me one too. Stop playing with some Vans babies now. Wyatt had his Mercedes wrapped in hot pink while Moore's Mercedes was crashed within a month, introducing everyone to Wyatt's terrible drive driving history. Nice. He had to move out of California solely because of driving offenses. The reason why I went to Florida was because I couldn't drive here. I had like so many traffic tickets <laughs> and like <laughs> driving on suspended license, oh DUIs, everything. So I went to Florida and I got- Yeah, I can't lie though. I bet he's loved in prison. <laughs> I bet, I bet when he goes to prison, I bet he's loved in there, mate. <laughs> my license mm -hmm. and it was perfectly fine and would upload an old video of his own road rage incident trying to look tough with the title don't play with me tf wyatt was clearly proud of being a terrible human and normally i'm not that nice normally it doesn't matter who you are i will be like shut the f up i don't want to hear about that please stop talking about that next subject and nothing solidified this more than a video he accidentally okay, posted buddy. he'd already given the audience a tour of his house but it was specifically on this house's front walkway that he'd kick his girlfriend out by throwing away all of her possessions. Mad. Wyatt claimed the video was posted accidentally and the couple quickly reconciled, but the pink Mercedes seen back in the tour was about to be another problem. 25 days after getting the car, he'd post this TikTok looking all bruised and battered, which came with a tweet reading, I'm gonna get some rest and try and recover. My yeah, bro, I got to tell. Is this a bruise or a tattoo, bro? I don't know if he's tattooed like a pair of balls on his eye. Or is that a bruise? Because this is like a perfect set of balls, bro. Face is in so much pain and the rest of my body. Wyatt then gave some context. He claimed that two white hillbillies attacked him unprovoked. I was hate crimed in Florida. I was attacked Not by sad. two men. My car was stuck between like a Chick-fil-A line. They backed me in so that they could both come out and come on either side of my car and attack me. Describe like what they looked like. like older men, Big, like our age. Fat. Mate, mate, if they're attacking you, why don't you just stab them? 
You literally have Wolverine claws. Why don't you just stab him? Hillbilly in like a white pickup truck. That's yeah. what they look like. And I'm in a pink Mercedes with this type of nails. Yeah. And when he called to report the hate crime, police beat him further because he didn't take off his seatbelt. Gosh, should I do a story time about how I got ripped out my Mercedes and my ass beat for trying to take my seatbelt off when they tell me to get out the car? White had filmed his own snippet of the incident. I can't take the seatbelt off. You need to show some respect. Posting only what made him look like a victim with the caption, Sunrise County Police in Broward County ambushed me in my neighborhood hours after I had called for help in a road rage incident earlier in the day. They didn't send anyone to help me, but came to my house hours later and held me at gunpoint. This is not okay. Wyatt was clearly the victim here, right? Well, later that day, TMZ posted their own article. TikTok star Icy Wyatt arrested for battery on police officers which clarified what? he was booked on Monday night for two counts of aggravated assault with a deadly weapon, one count of aggravated battery with a deadly weapon, one count of battery on an officer, and one oh. count of resisting arrest. Wyatt's innocence was suddenly in question, yet he continued to claim I was the victim. This was in self-defense, also adding I didn't batter the police. I was handed my phone, and then another officer ripped it out of my hand, and because I didn't release it right away, he Oh, he definitely scratched him on his claws. And then got done for battering. Dead I assaulted him. On TikTok, White maintained it was all police's fault. The rumors are not true. There will be several news stories coming out soon about what actually happened. The police were in many wrongs. Until the body cam footage was publicly released. To nobody's surprise, White wasn't actually hate crimed. It began with him parked in the middle of the street, yelling at a random lady, leading the two white hillbillies to stand up for the woman. They politely told White to get back in the car, stop blocking traffic, to which White Fair responded enough. by pistol whipping them, throwing a drink on their car, and driving erratically in front of them. <laughs> almost hitting a lady with her infant baby as he sped away from the scene. Ah, right, he's fucking crazy, bro. Yo, no, 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 this guy's... Bro, this guy's crazy. In a beautiful display of stupidity, Wyatt then called police himself reporting, I just pulled over because somebody just tried to kill me in the car. This truck came up and tried to cut me off. So I pulled over to the next lane, and again he's trying to swerve into my lane and tried to hit the car, yet this is actually what he'd done to them. Wyatt then continued what lying, idiot. and then I had four guys jump out of the car and say, we're gonna beat the crap out of you and stuff, failing to include that he'd pistol whip them after. That's after Man. speaking with these hillbillies, police discovered the truth, showing up at Wyatt's house to arrest him, where he'd speak the infamous line, y'all. You know what, bro? The fact he pistol whipped one of them, yeah, and there was two of them or four of them. I'm surprised he actually didn't get properly injured, bro don't know who I am. Wyatt maintained I didn't hit nobody, claiming his girlfriend was there to confirm his story. So my girlfriend can't be a witness to Was she with you? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, we're, we can talk to her when she gets here. More then showed up to tell her side, yet it was later shown by this frame that Moore wasn't even there at the time. Wyatt's final Bro. defense of having a gun was because he drove a bright pink car who is famous online and gets messed with on the freeways all the time, as if it's been a lifelong issue and he didn't just buy the car four weeks before. He added, I have millions of followers. People make this stuff up all the time, to which the cop responded. Yo, yo, listen, I get that he's got a million on TikTok, but that don't mean you're like well, well known. Like, bro, it's TikTok. A lot of people have a million followers on TikTok, bro. Does anyone in chat know this guy? Does anyone know this guy, bro? Cause I've never, I've never seen or heard of him, bro. <laughs> I don't think he's as, as big as he thinks he is, bro. No clue. Okay, Kerry, you do. One mil TikTok is like a hundred followers. In the ring. <laughs> no, but what I'm saying is like one mil TikTok is still a lot, but one mil followers on TikTok isn't like crazy, crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's not crazy, crazy. It's not, it's not like you're known everywhere, bro. A lot of people have a million followers on TikTok. TikTok is it's the place where you get the most followers on any social media.
Not everybody knows who you are. Prompting Y to add, I have 58 million followers. Everybody who's been on TikTok oh. will make this stuff up all the time. To which the cop responded, Not everybody knows who you are. Prompting Y to add, I have 58 million you followers. Have 58 everybody million. who's been on TikTok or Instagram has seen who I am. Before spending the night in jail, Wyatt bragged about his jewelry. What? You know, this is some 80, right? Being released the following day and posting a celebratory TikTok. You can't get rid of me, bitch. I'm not going nowhere. Wyatt then called the paparazzi on himself to claim the don't you know who I am phrase was referring to him being the one who called police. I called the police okay. and told them that this whole altercation happened. So right. when they pulled up, I said, don't Hey, yo, buddy. The fact that you call paparazzi on yourself just proves nobody knows you, bro. Like, yeah, fair play, bro. You got a million followers on TikTok, but nobody... Bro, you call the paparazzi on yourself. <laughs> Yo, if people was actually, like, really famous, bro, they don't want the paparazzi there. You know what I'm saying? Don't you know who You're I calling am? You're calling him. <laughs> He's the one who Don't you know who I am? Bragging about his followers was due to his head injury. I'm not slurring my words okay. until they slam my head on the ground. Then I'm like, oh, I have 58 million followers. Which was covered by a brand new tattoo of his girlfriend's name on his face. Despite treating the arrest like one. Yo, this bro's fucking crazy. This bro is crazy. Bro. 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 <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yo, he is crazy, bro. Tattoo on your forehead! Yeah, you're lucky tattoo remo removal is an option, bro. You are lucky. ...new tattoo of his girlfriend's name on his face. Jesus. Despite treating the arrest like one massive joke, why it was in... I was looking for tattoo ideas? Yeah, I'm not getting it. First of all, I'm not getting a tattoo on my face. Secondly, in no way I'm... Like, if I were if I were to get a face tattoo, it would never be someone's name. It would never... You know what I mean? It'd be something, like, to do with me, bro. Serious trouble. So yeah, I might be facing 20 years in prison because of this name. Yet he'd still years. post TikToks such as this one. All right. Oh yeah, fire. Oh yeah, kids. I don't have no kids, but kids names that 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 can go anywhere, bro. That's your kid. You know what I'm saying? Kid, kid. That's a bit different. That's a bit different. I like if you're going to get something to do with your parents or whatnot. You know what I mean? But yo, your girlfriend, bro. I don't care if you're married. Bro, on your face, that's crazy. On your face, that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. At least get like, I don't know, like a portrait on your shoulder or something. That might, you know, you, you know, you could cover that up. It could be someone else. You could change it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, do y'all think I should get this 2021 Range Rover no. or should I get a G-Wagon? Leading no. to many comments mocking him. If I were facing up to 20 years, I don't think looking for a new vehicle would be at the top of my list of things to do. Yeah, that's cool, fire. Additionally, because Wyatt was now awaiting trial. If I got pulled over, I could get the maximum sentence, 10 yeah. years. Leading to a TikTok beef with his very own mother. She simply gave Wyatt the most obvious advice ever. She's like, well, you know, you're not supposed to be driving if you get pulled over you're gonna go to jail for 10 years blah 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 and i'm like girl can we talk about this another time like i'm really not trying to hear about this she's like okay well i'll talk to you about it later then i'm like no i don't ever want to talk to you about it unless i bring it up because that's something that triggers me leading to their relationship completely falling apart they'd publicly argue back and forth about anything and everything although Yo, i'll never i'll never fuck, fuck with anyone or anything whoever disrespects that mom bro or, or, un, unless your mum has done something really, 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 really bad to deserve it, you know what I'm saying, bro? You don't dis you don't disrespect your mum. You don't disrespect your mum, bro. Wyatt failed to take any of her advice yeah, no, because during this period of waiting for his sentence, Wyatt's stepdad proudly announced he got into an altercation and keyed a car while he was out on bail. As a result, Wyatt was rearrested to be jailed until his trial, predicting just beforehand he wouldn't be in for long. I'm looking at probably a month's time in $10,000. However, three months 
passed without a word about his trial, and his plan to work out every day didn't exactly happen. Because I'm gonna just be working out the whole time. As he'd tell his girlfriend via jail phone, he'd gained 40 pounds or 18 kilos. In the what? process, Wyatt was facing other issues. Have you gotten in a fight since you've been in there? I was attacked. As Moore finds out, Wyatt will be serving at least two years. Wait, 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 wait. He just said, yeah, I, bro, I, I know prison won't be good for him. He just said he just, he's been attacked in it. I was attacked. As Moore finds out, Wyatt will be serving at least two years. I know oh, I was being Delulu, like thinking that this was going to be like quick and easy and that you were going to be home soon. The reality is just like very much like hitting me now. Despite this, Moore had Icy Wyatt tattooed on her neck, live streaming the session during which she'd get a call. On the phone. That is fucking disgusting. That is vile. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. Look, I, listen, I got many, many. I got a lot of tats, right? But, yo, that that screams. I ain't going to lie, bro. That that screams. You know what I'm saying, chat. I, I'm, I don't want to say it, but you know what it screams. She's on the street with that tat. <sighs> Let's just say some people might go up, go up to her with some money, bro. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> that, that's disgusting, bro. That's disgusting. Tattooed on her neck, live streaming the session during which she'd get a call. On the phone was a debt collector asking uh. for payments on a mattress. They've got all this money apparently, but can't buy a mattress outright. Wyatt's mum then revealed they had payments on their cars, making it obvious they'd financed their whole life and were pretty much broke. Two months ago, Wyatt vocalized being worried about the cost of a phone call while his 40 pound weight gain has rich. turned into 70. I mean be hey, where's the tat gone? Is she removed already? Oh, no. Is it? <laughs> Why? Why get it there like that with the stars, bro? It don't look good. It don't look good. With the stars and that font, bro. Oh, no, it don't look good. Good. As a last ditch effort, Wyatt sent the judge a letter stating, I feel absolutely terrible and ashamed for the way I handled things with these people. I'm not the type of person to hurt anyone or vandalize people's property. That just isn't who I am or who I want to be, but the judge didn't buy it. I see Wyatt still yet to be convicted, having spent 12 months in prison and lost absolutely everything simply because he couldn't hold his anger. Bruh. This guy.